Good morning. Joining me today and for Charlie O'Hara is Kevin Zolator here to answer your legal questions. If you have one, give us a call right now and get on the line. Good to have you back in the studio. Good morning. Did you get any damage me. last night from the storms? We were lucky. We did not. Good news. Good to hear that because, yeah, you're right. A lot of people <laughs> did. We're going to go ahead and get to the phones. We have a few callers on the line. Hi, good morning. What's your question for Kevin? Hello? Hello, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. What's your question for Kevin? Uh, yes, sir. I was wondering, I have a DUI trial coming up. I was wondering if the, uh, the courts are offering any, any alternative other than jail for, uh, for the offense. Okay. Well, um, if you have a trial coming up, uh, I would assume that you probably or, or should probably have an attorney there with you. And they, they could probably specifically answer uh, what penalties you would be looking at. Uh, there are some mandatory uh, minimums uh, for jail time. Uh, usually those do have to be served. Uh, it can be anywhere, you know, for two days. Uh, some judges impose five days or more, depending on your, your criminal history. Uh, but uh, there are other, other times where the court can allow you to do house arrest after you serve those mandatory minimums. Uh, but there is usually not a, a way to avoid absolute jail time. Um, but that depends on on how many DUIs you've had in the past and, and what's going on in this case. Uh, if it is a first, uh, you might be able to avoid jail time and, and do some other program. But it's really going to be specific uh, and, and depend on your actual criminal history. So you'd want to talk to your attorney or whoever's representing you in, in that case. To find okay, out your so specifics. if you have never had a DUI before, this is your first one, what's the typical punishment given out? Well, it depends on where you're at and what different jurisdictions do it differently. Some okay. uh, will allow you to go to, like here in Wichita, the Wichita Intervention Program, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, you go there, get treatment, do those types of things in lieu of jail. Um, others will have you do two days of jail, uh, and that's if you get convicted uh, on a first or other option such as diversion, uh, and those types of programs that you can look into and avoid uh, jail time on those. But he, he said he's going to trial, so it sounds like he's trying to fight his, and, and so we'll see what happens. Okay, okay, great, great information. Thank you so much for calling in today. Good luck with that. We have time now for another call this morning. Hi there, what's your question? Yes, uh, seven years ago when I was moving into my house, the company that moved in the furniture dug a hole in my floor and they have not paid anything and i was wondering if there's a time limit seven years ago okay how does that work well uh seven years ago is a long time ago mm -hmm. um, i'm not sure if she was asking if there's a time limit for them to pay or a time limit for her to do something i would imagine what she's asking if there's a time limit for her to do something because mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't sound like they're uh, they're gonna come fix the nope, fix, not fix the problem point. uh there is a time limit uh it might have run in her case. I wouldn't, you know, without knowing all the facts, tell her that it has or has not. She should definitely get uh, to an attorney and find out. Uh, on most, most claims or most uh, legal issues, there is what's called the statute of limitations, and that's where you only have a certain amount of time to bring the uh, lawsuit to court or bring it to the court attention. And, and if you don't do that, you lose all your rights. So if it hasn't run, um, she might be getting close to that uh, expiration period. So she definitely want to talk to an attorney to make sure that if she does have a claim, that she gets there in time. As far as if she's just asking if there's a time limit for them to fix it, uh, you know, it, it, there's Up no time the company, limit. Perhaps. <laughs> right, and there's no time I mean, they can fix it whenever they want. Um, so that's why I imagine what she's asking is, does she have a time limit? And I think she probably does, and uh, it's probably getting close, and she probably needs to talk to an attorney right away. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. You're good welcome. to see you Thank again you. today. We appreciate you coming on the show. Have a good week. Thank you. You too.